Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here, and I'm going to have the cleanest house in Chicago because we are going to check out the latest Frio X Ultra from Narwhal. Now, Narwhal has released an upgrade from their previous model with the Frio X Ultra with a bunch of new features and added specs. Now, just keep in mind that this has just came out, so you can still get in on the early bird pricing, which I will link to everything down below. You can even get up to $400 off as well. Again, everything linked down below. Big thanks to Narwhal for sponsoring this video and sending over the Frio X Ultra for us to check out. And speaking of those features, there's a floating brush feature, which I can't wait to try out because at the bottom, the brushes on robot vacuums always get hair tangled in the corners and dirt as well. So we'll see if this actually doesn't tangle. You also get 8,200 PAs of suction, which is what you'd expect out of a flagship. You also have their AI dirt sense technology. And of course, it's not just a vacuum, it's also a mop as well. It comes with a self-cleaning mechanism in the base station. But anyways, we're gonna take a quick look what comes in the box. And then of course, get it all set up and get some hands-on, do some testing with the new Frio X Ultra. Let's get started. Opening up the box, let's take a look at what we get inside. A quick look at everything inside the box. You've got your standard booklets, plus two bristles for each side of the bottom of the vacuum, plus your power cable that you'll attach to the base station. Let's see the extras we have attached to the base station. Inside there you get two disposable dust bags with filters built in, so when it does fill up, you can just throw it out. You don't have to use the disposable ones. It does come with a regular dust bin that does have the filter right there, and it just flips open the lid and you can empty it. Moving on to the base station at the top, you do have touch controls. We'll show those off once I plug it in. And speaking of those touch controls, here are all of the different commands that you can learn. I will say it's nice not having to use Use the app if you don't want to and you can just use the base station touch controls and of course clean and dirty water containers inside the dirty water container there's something this is narwhal's dedicated detergent that you can use when mopping your floors at the bottom of the base station you have your cleaning base and cleaning tray this is where your mop pads will not only get washed but also dried as well to help fight any sort of bacteria that can grow because it will automatically dry it. It does detach in case you'd like to clean it yourself after a little while. And onto the very clean and polished looking Narwhal Frio X Ultra. The top lid does pop off, revealing yet another disposable dust bag here. Great that they have even more extras. Be sure to peel this off for the bumpers. Flipping it over on the bottom reveals the wheels and where you can attach those bristles. A quick close look at that zero tangling floating brush. When I take this off, you'll notice on the side here, it doesn't even attach at all. It's sort of just floating there and you can just take it on off. And this actually is sort of hidden, this piece to it. So since it stays hidden, there really aren't any places for hair or other objects to really get tangled in the brush, which is a big problem for a lot of robot vacuums. So I'll test this out and, and really run it over a bunch of hair and see how it does. The mop pads aren't quite circle so that it does reach a little bit more surface area around the robot vacuum. And just a quick look at the outsides where it has a ton of the different sensors, how it's going to do its object detection. And on the front here, it even says laser vision sensor. Not only obstacle detection, but also for the mapping of your home, which we will do now. Setting it up was really easy. Just download Narwhal's app, get it connected to the Wi-Fi, and then run the mapping through your house. And it did a really good job mapping my floor plan. It found specific furniture and even carpets. The app itself has a bunch of different options. You can let it know if you have a pet. There's a lot of different cleaning modes if you're only looking to vacuum, vacuum and mop, and different types of suction modes and amount of water used when mopping. And right away, I did a deep clean, just the max clean of everything in my house and there's a couple of reasons I did this first of all to test out the mopping the vacuuming and the dustbin collection etc but also that tangle free brush down at the bottom and the floating brush passed the test I'm going to be honest I was a little skeptical at first but actually running it through multiple floors in my house it didn't get tangled at all I, I, it, you can even see it it's just completely clean there's no tangles in the corner there's no hair tangled up in the brush it's actually really impressive and i haven't seen that just yet 
And that's not all. I want to further test the zero tangling floating brush by doing an actual hair test. I've clumped a bunch of hair together. I even threw some dirt from a nearby plant on the ground, on carpet. So running it over with a vacuum test just to wait till it sucks up all of the dirt and hair. Flipping over that vacuum, let's take a peek. And sure enough, there is no hair tangled on that brush. There's also no hair tangled where the dirt will go. So it did suck up all of the hair without actually spinning around the brush. I'm really impressed. Uh, maintenance is much easier this way. Next up is the big test. You've got liquid and solid to clean in my kitchen. And this highlights a couple things. First of all, 8,200 PAs of suction. So really high suction out of this vacuum plus that AI dirt sense. So it recognizes when the floor is still dirty. So it will go back and actually re-clean. So it did and passed, did a really good job cleaning my kitchen floor. There was coffee, there was milk, there was cereal, there was actual coffee grounds as well. So it knew it had to keep going back until it was fully cleaned. It vacuumed up all the solids and of course mopped up all the liquids. When it comes to those dual spinning and scrubbing mops, it's nice to have that triangle design so it gets a wider radius when it's cleaning. They spin really fast as well. Plus, you also have that detergent that's mixed in with the water. I've noticed after mopping, there's really no dry spots because it's doing a really good job mapping out its path and actually touching on all of the spots on the floor that I need mopped. And after mopping the floor, you'll notice those mop pads can get a little dirty and that's okay. That just shows it's picking up dirt, especially if you have some sort of darker substance on the ground. And again, this is an all-in-one base station, so it will bring itself back. It will go ahead and clean and dry those mop pads. And after the auto mop washing and drying, check out those mop pads. They look really clean, especially if you're going over coffee grounds and coffee that's really dark. It looks really good. And have to point out that zero tangling floating brush yet again after going over a bunch of carpet and definitely going over some hair. It did not get tangled whatsoever. I don't see any hairs in this brush. It's incredible. The water tanks are very large, so I don't have to keep refilling them. Plus, I want to point out that with the detergent, there's a specific slot to set the detergent in right next to that clean water, and it will automatically add it for the clean. You might be thinking, why don't they have a self-emptying dustbin? And there's a couple reasons. First of all, it makes a lot of noise when it actually empties it. And plus, they have this new U-shaped design of dust to get it directly into the dustbin. And those disposable dust containers will last up to seven weeks, which I was pretty surprised about, honestly. But they do have a mechanism where it will compress the fluffy parts of the dust, so it actually will last much longer than you think. Even after running all of my tests, doing a bunch of deep cleans, it still didn't really seem like there was that much in that disposable dust container. There's a tri-laser obstacle avoidance system, so in case you've got shoes, toys, cables laying around, it's okay, it will detect them and make sure to avoid them. It did a great job identifying carpet as well, and the mop pads will lift up so it will avoid mopping and getting the carpet all wet. And last but not least, when cleaning my house, I noticed the battery lasted just a little bit longer, which is kind of nice. You can go through a full cleaning and then go back and charge. So overall, that's everything I want to talk about for now on the Frio X Ultra. All in all, I have to say a really solid package in this robot vacuum with the all-in-one base station, but those added features, that anti-tangle brush makes it so you don't have to flip it over, you know, cut the hairs out of that roller, all that good stuff. So really good addition to their robot vacuum. Again, everything's linked in the description below of the Narwhal Frio X Ultra. Be sure to drop a comment, let me know what you think. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe for more, a lot more content coming soon. And as always, thanks for watching.